gathered here today to witness the formal joining of Trenton and Claire in the legal state of matrimony. They are to be married according to the orders and the customs and the authority granted by the government of Alberta. And matrimony as understood by us, like by us as a people, is a state enriched by a long and honorable tradition of devotion. And according to the law, each participant stands equal in this marriage. And marriage is not just the ceremony here today, it's a commitment for life and not entered into thoughtlessly or irresponsibly. You must have given considerable thought to this. <laughs> and so, since you have given thought to this, we assume that you want to support and comfort one another through all the changing experiences of life, laughing together in joy often, and grieving together in sorrow when those times come. And marriage means caring as much about the welfare of your marriage partner as about your own well-being. It means working together to create and sustain a home in which your marriage can flourish. Now because you do want to get married today, you need to make a declaration that says there's no legal reason why you can't. So uh, Claire, I need you to repeat this after me first, please. You say, I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. I do not know. Of, I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. I do not know of any lawful impediment. I do not know of any lawful impediment. Why I, Pamela Claire Heavyhead. Why I, Pamela Claire Heavyhead. May not be joined in matrimony. May. May not. May not. <laughs> yeah. He joined in matrimony. He joined in matrimony. To Trenton William Rock. To Trenton William Rock. Same declaration. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. I do not know of any lawful impediment. I do not know of any lawful impediment. Why I, Trenton William Rock. Why I, Trenton William Rock. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. Pamela Claire Heavenhead. And now some questions I'm going to ask you first, Trenton. If you can give to Claire the love of your person and the comfort of your companionship and the patience of your understanding, will you share with her what you earn or enjoy? Yes. And always respect her dignity. Can you give to Trenton the love of your person, the comfort of your companionship, and the patience of your understanding? Yes. Will you share with him what you earn or enjoy? Yes, I will. And always respect his dignity? Always. Can you hold Thank you. <coughs> Would you please join hands? Because up until now, <coughs> you have assured everyone here, as well as each other, that you can do those things that will provide you with the basis of a good marriage. And now you're going to make legal declarations to one another. You, Trenton, you need to say this first. You say this to Claire. You say, I call upon those persons present. I call upon those persons present. To witness that I, Trenton Roth. To witness that I, Trenton Roth. Take you, Claire Heavyhead. Take you, Claire Heavyhead. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. In whatever circumstances life holds for us. In whatever circumstances life holds for us. Claire, your vow now to Trenton. You say, I call upon those persons present. I call upon those persons present. To witness that I, Claire Heavyhead. To witness that I, Claire Heavyhead. Take you, Trenton Roth. Take you, Trenton Roth. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold this day forward. In whatever circumstances life holds for us. In whatever circumstances life holds for us. You have some personal vows you'd like to make to Claire. to respect and honor you for the person you are and will become. 
to believe in your passions and you push you towards what makes you happy. I promise to be your shoulder to lean on, cry on, or rest on, to hold your views and opinions above all else. I will always be there for you, to be a friend, an opinion, a laugh, or your husband. You know me better than anyone, and you're still there. And you have vows for Trenton. you have for Claire and put it loosely on her finger. Say, Claire, I give you this ring that you may wear it. Say, Claire, I give you this ring. Claire, I give you this ring so you may wear it. As a lasting reminder of our love and commitment. As our lasting reminder of our commitment. And you have a ring now for Trenton? Put it loosely on his finger. Say, Trenton, I give you this ring that you may wear it. Trenton, I give you this ring that you may wear it. As a reminder of my love and commitment. As a reminder of my love and commitment. Now, Claire and Trenton, you have exchanged rings. And if you can accept each other and accept the promises that you have made to one another, say together, I accept your ring. I accept your ring. And now, Trenton William Roth and Pamela Claire Heavyhead have consented in marriage. Now, you declared your solemn intention in this company before these people, the nearest and dearest people to you in the world. You exchanged rings, you pledged your love upon the authority vested in me by the province of Alberta. I pronounce you husband and wife.
Enjoy a long life and, and fulfill your hopes and feel content as you live day by day, keeping your promises to one another. We all want you to have a home filled with peace and joy and adventure. We all want you to share your life with one another and respect your partner and consider above all your marriage is going to yield whatever you give to it. We are going to now celebrate Alberta's newest married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Walk. They 